Welcome to Opulent Switzerland. In this tutorial, we will guide you step by step on creating captivating product photos effortlessly. We'll guide you through the process of creating amazing images for your product, making them appear truly professional. Best of all, we've designed this tutorial to be easily accessible for everyone, regardless of skill level. Plus, we'll exclusively be using free tools or suggesting free alternatives ensuring you won't have to spend a dime. Are you ready to take your product photography to the next level? Let's dive in. Hello everyone, I'm Fritz and today in this course I will show you how we can create a pretty, pretty beautiful product photo like this. To create the product photo like this, what we're going to do is we're first going to download Blender. Blender is a 3D rendering software we will use to create product photos. You can just press on download and then download the latest version. So when we open up Blender we can see this scene but it doesn't matter what this is so let's just delete all of this. Now when we use Blender we need to click our mouse wheel to navigate our camera. We can rotate our camera with, with pressing the middle mouse wheel and you can just orbit around the center. Then if you want to move the camera you can press shift and the mouse wheel together so you can move it like this. These are the basic controls you need to know for Blender but it's very easy. By the way you can see all of my button press in the right corner down here. So now if you want to begin you can press shift A and then this menu comes up. We want to add a simple cube and now we got our basic cube here. To transform this into a perfume bottle, we will need to press tap and then we will come to edit mode. The edit mode is basically the face editor for Blender and we can toggle between these modes. This mode is the vertex mode. You can select all the vertexes. It's very simple. If you need to just select a single point, then we get the edge mode. This is the to select whole edges and then the face mode. Very simple. You can toggle bet between these with 1, 2 and 3. Keep this in mind, this is pretty useful. So now we got our basic cube here and we want to transform this in into a bottle. Press G and then, then press C. Then we got this and then just move it how you like it to get a, a decent size of how you like it. Then we can go out of end mode with tab again press C, then hold control and then go up. Again press G for the move mode, then press C to lock it in the C location and then press G to snap it. We want, we want it to lie on the floor here. Very basic. So now, now we got this tall cube and that's still not a bottle. Now you can just follow me, I will show you along. Now press tab again, press ctrl R, then you see this yellow line. This is a loop cut. You can do it in this line or in this line. We want it on the above. So we put this and then it follows our cursor. Then we can just right click. So it snaps back to the center. Then we do this into the other direction as well, like this. So then press right click again and we got it. Now we got more faces to work with. But that's not what you want. We want to select this single vertex, press G to verify that you only select this one and then we press delete and delete the vertices. Now we got this. From here on we go to the edge mode, then we with ALT, we hold ALT and then select the top. Now we got the whole top selected and then we press E then we get a new face, then we press right click again, then we press S and then we can just scale it in. Now scale it, this is the top of the bottle. Scale it to how you like it for your product. I will do mine about about this one. I like, I like it like this. Then we will press Shift, Alt and S. This is a shortcut to turn this into a circle. Now you can see it's rounded, again, Shift, Alt, S, so you can easily follow along. Then from here on, 
what I will do is extrude it again so we get a little cap so I press E again I just want for my product for my bottle I want it like this it's very simple very good like this then now it's pretty rough and edge we don't want it like this so we can click this so it's yellow highlighted then we go under this modifier property tab click this and then add a modifier and go to subdivision surface now it transforms you see it looks weird now but we'll fix this as we go on so in the viewport you can move this up about two two is all right this there you, then you and then what we do is we add another modifier and we add a bevel and with this bevel we can if we play around with this turn this off so we can see what we're working with so now uh, if we can what this does is as you can see it smooths out the edges with these edges you can play around how you like it how do you like the size I like mine at one meter and then the segments the segments we can move up so the edges get smoother then you can play around with the lines again how you like it I like mine like this this looks good for me now here this looks we we don't want a octagonal cap we want something smooth so we can go here we can see the angle tab and then we can just pull it up until it gets edgy again and now you wonder why does it need to be edgy if we turn on the subdivision service take it at this at these points and move it down you can see it smooths out everything and you can play again how you like the the segments or how you want this to look for mine let's do it like this a bit smoother I think I like this pretty much like this I both apply these modifiers by pressing this little arrow and then apply uh, let's only apply the bevel modifier and not the subdivision surface so we get easier mesh to work with now with this mesh we see we got some more polygons but not that many more so now we can just do it again hold C down go into wireframe mode and then press one on the numpad and select what I want I want these correct now what I can do is I can just move these now you see make sure you go to wireframe mode and then select this and then select this exactly now we got both of these then we press S and then press X and now we can scale it to how we like it great this looks like a pretty cool bottle I want to make some more adjustments so I'll select this in with the edge in the edge mode I select this and this then I scale it down and while pressing S then Y now you can scale it out to give the whole bottle a bit of a rounder shape exactly I like how, how it's done now from here on I will I want to close this up I don't like how it's made here so I press alt press on this line so we get the upper parts then we press E again press right click and then scale it inwards not too much though we still want it sharp like this and then what we do from here on is we press F so we got a complete completely filled face exactly now it's too smooth for me so what I do now is I will press ctrl R again make sure the yellow line is here and then bring this up as you can see uh, as we as I bring this closer up the edge up here gets sharper that's exactly what I want now I got this sharp line and now I want to do the same down here here it's we can't do this directly we need to press alt again on this lower part then 
when we got this selected we can press G and then we can uh, press S uh, not G my bad press S then scale this and scale this inwards like this so what I focus on if we go back to wireframe what I focus on is that this line here is oh my bad that this line here is pretty much straight as straight as possible exactly now if we go back to solid mode when holding C don't forget that we can still see it's not that sharp so we can press R again and then just bring this down exactly now we get this sharp line and it still looks smooth it's not edgy and now to finish it off we can go here and shade smooth now doesn't this look great now we got it very smoothed out and it's very simple and cool looking now from here on I will modify the shape a bit again because I'm not completely happy let me just go into edit mode again and then from here on we will go in wireframe mode select the vertex mode and then pull this up again I want everything to be a bit longer and like this probably good let me check it out yes this is great now um, what I'm going to do because it's a glass bottle, right? Uh, for the perfume we use a glass bottle, so we need a, an insight. If we don't do an insight, if you look at uh, real life glass, there's a, uh, it's not completely filled with glass. So we need to make an insight here. To do this, we will just copy, copy this complete thing. Control C, Control V. And then what we will do is just scale this down. Before we do that though, we will press Alt and C to make everything trans transparent and then go into numpad 1 to see it from the front view and then we can just make this the inside like this. Um, now what I like is to make a bit uh, broader seam so this need to be a bit thicker here and uh, for here what we're going to do now is go into edit mode of this then we'll zoom in a bit, select all of these, and then just, oh no, not all of these, but these, exactly, then move this up, so it's about the same height as this, uh, let me check, about here, great, now what we've got, we got an, an inside, and the glass is a bit, has a bit thickness to it, great, uh, what we will need to do now, is hide the, the big one, go uh, press Alt C again, and then we got like this. What we need to do now is go to edit mode, then press this button up here. With this button, we need to press here, then we go to what we need to activate is face orientation. Now we see everything is blue, and if we do this the same uh, here, if we check this out, everything is blue here, and on the inside everything is red. So this needs to be blue and this needs to be red. So the outside, the blue one, is here. How we do this, we will select everything, then we will go to mesh, and then what we will do is to normals and then flip. Exactly. Now everything is red and we can see we have an inside of the bottle. If we go like this, you can see this is now good, and now we can press here, take, oh sorry, you need to be in edit mode, go here, and then face orientation. Take this out again, so it's grey again, great, now we can go up here, remove this this face here, we don't need it, it's, it's optional, so you don't need to do it, but I like to do it, so I'll just delete this face, and then go here, delete this face so you can have an insight exactly great now on here select the edge mode so I can select everything scale this in and now you have kind of a seam it's not perfect but it 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 works you can move this up if you want to like this 
Great, now you, you've got an insight, doesn't need to be perfect because it's not going to be seen in the final product. What we can do now is select both of these, press Ctrl J to make one object out of them. And now this is just one. Now we'll rename this to bottle. This so we I know it's the bottle. Great. This was part one of the course. If you want to see how we add materials and give everything color, you can watch part two now.